Hello you guys and welcome back to my cooking channel. I know you guys were waiting for me to cook my seafood for. So now I'm gonna to make it. Okay, so just go watch the first. I'm gonna show you because I had to put everything out. You know, what's, what's going in my seafood bowl. So, even though it's going to be sitting out, because this is what I'm cooking with. Okay. On the side, I'm going to cook the, some rice. Well, it's the jazz rice. Most people use the regular rice, but I try something different. And I like a lot of shrimp, even though this has shrimp in it. You guys. So, I'm just going to add more. And I'll probably cut this in half, sweet corn. And this is the type of sauce that I'm using. Get two packets. And this is the potato I'm going to use. I'm going to use the small one. Also, all you see this ingredient will go somewhere in my in my seafood and my uh, seafood sauce. Just have to watch. I just got um, chopped onion, red onion, just on the side. Also, I might use this because I, I like it. Last time I made my seafood, this is kind of got a uh, for the sauce that really got a good little flavor to it chicken broth also uh, going in my sauce make garlic and how do reason people use the whole uh, sushi ginger just because they like chunky vegetable in it so yeah and you don't have to use this. You can go ahead and use the regular ginger. Okay. And when I'm going to saute my sauce, I'm going to saute with this butter. My seafood sauce. I'm going to saute with this. The thickening, I'm going to use half and half. So, slimmer. And this is the side, you guys. What you want to make my... Uh, seafood sauce. This is the sauce. Just, just, just on a different way. And what I'm probably going to do is, <clears throat> sometimes I don't like raw vegetable, so I'm going to kind of <clears throat> put some seeds on top of it and bake in my air fry. Also, I got my eggs boiling already. Okay. Even though you guys go back and watch the first video that I put all my ingredient in, you know, because once you see these in a the bowl, this is all the ingredients that I might use. A tablespoon, I might use a half a tablespoon. A lot of depends. Okay. Also, you could pause this if you like. Hi, I do my, uh, this is most of going to be the uh, season for my seafood sauce, okay? Yeah. And then like I said, each season that I use, I'm going to use maybe a, a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon. Now this is the ginger that I would tell you about if you don't like to use the, uh, the, the uh, sushi ginger. You just don't like that flavor. You can also substitute this for this right here. And this is probably what I, you know, I might put a little bit. I might not. And I just picked this up, you guys. Uh, I might say this another day because my seafood um, is already seasoned. So I might just say that for something else, okay? And this is most of the like when you boil your uh, seafood, this is it got some bass and stuff. You just drop in that hot one. Okay, so now you see everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, you guys. Okay. 
I know some of you guys probably say, where did her seafood bar? <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. I've just been doing something now, cooking in my kitchen and stuff, you know. So, here we go. So, you, this is, you guys going to have it now. Let's see this right here. This one I'm talking about. So I might not use that. Uh, but this is already seasoned and stuff. So yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grill my salsa and my vegetable, you guys. Put in my air fryer. So this is what I'm gonna do with this. I got my vegetable. So I'm just going to slide it into the air fryer. Okay, you guys, now <clears throat> what I'm doing, I'm just boiling my water for my seafood. Now, this right here, because I'm, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and use a little of this, you know, in my water. Okay? And I'm telling you, be careful with this. I just kind of taste this. This is, this is what this is. And it's very salty. 
and spicy. So if you can see, this is one of four, not, not all the way up to the top. Okay, so this is very, it got a good flavor. It kind of got a little spice to it, but it is, be careful by using that. Um, I'm just going to add one bag of this, you know, to get my water a good flavor. So I just want to come back to show you guys that. So I've got everything all chopped up. My shrimp, my extra shrimp I added, my potatoes, corn. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my water and my eggs is already boiled. Alrighty, just want to show you guys what I'm doing next. So once my water comes to the boil, I'm going to add the season. Then I'm going to start cooking my corn and my potato for about, mm, that's about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to throw the rest of it in some. Okay. Okay, you guys, this is how it look. Look at that seafood. Go on, see. And that's why I'm not going to add uh, season to it. Because see all the season they got in the back? Yeah. I'm not gonna add no season. Still waiting on my water to boil. Okay, now I'm just add the season. Start putting my corn. So I'm going to let this cook about 10 minutes, then I'll put in my red potato. Okay. Okay, you guys, so it's been 10 minutes. And another thing, you guys, um, I was tasting my water. <coughs> And I have to add some more uh, seasoning to it. This right here. I think I add like maybe um, another one fourth a cup. Okay. Because I guess it's water and stuff. So yeah, I have to add that. So I'm going to go ahead and add my. Be careful, you know, if you guys, you know, doing this. You don't want it flash everywhere. It's not red potato. Let's go ahead. Flash. Okay. <clears throat> and then your water is going to always um, lose a little temperature because it's cold. So it's going to come back. So I'll probably cook this. But these are so small, you guys. So this problem, I'm gonna to wait to know if you're if it's ready. Um, you know how you do fork tender? That's how you could tell. That's how you could tell if it's ready by you know by four. And I think what it is, when you see this right here cut. Okay, so it's. I had to cut some of the bad part off the potatoes and stuff, but yeah. So I'm going to cover it back up, and my water is well seasoned now. You know, got a good flavor. It ain't that salty. You know, that's got to, it, it's a really good season, so that's why I didn't, I didn't come up. That's why I didn't add most of the stuff that I would read on the 
back of this right here of the ingredient and all the stuff that I was going to use if I didn't have this I was going to use in my seafood or you know how they have the ingredient was all in it and stuff but pretty much all the seeds that I was going to just say if I didn't have this all the seeds that I was going to use is in here yep 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 alrighty put my top back on another about five minutes okay so now the last step um, I'll go ahead and put my seafood in and because it's, it don't take nothing but about three or four minutes guys I'm gonna turn off this fire because I don't want this is it pouring in there but I don't want this to flash all over me if you know what I mean pot is big enough <laughs> I'll be right back can I arrange it okay okay so I have to uh, <coughs> arrange it and stuff okay so this is on the cook maybe by I'm gonna say three to four minutes on the bag <clears throat> see the mm. Easy, easy, you guys. My seafood. I'm just gonna bring it up to a boil. Then I'm gonna put my timer on for a minute. And then I'm gonna add the rest of my uh, Add the rest of this. I got to kept soaking. And there we go. Make my sauce, you guys. <clears throat> no wonder seafood is very expensive because it take it's a lot of work. Even though that I, I already got the uh, I brought the seafood, the crab leg, the mussel. What else in there? What is that? Even though it got a little shrimp in it. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna put the top back on and bring it to the bowl. And then put my timer on <clears throat> for three to four for four minutes, okay? And this fresh stuff, you guys, is is really the season. Just basting it. Okay, get the season real good with the crab leg. Okay. Then after four minutes, then I just drain it and put it in the pan. Guys, I'm gonna kind of drop that up in the big one, the extra seafood, and this is already cooking divine. Woo, woo, woo. I know this is gonna be good, you guys. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. These is more bigger than the one they had in the in the bag, as you can see. 
more bigger. I don't want to, I'm just doing the individual. Go ahead and kind of push it down a little bit. It'll be cooking. Rest and I'll be back. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys that's how it look. See, close it up with the shrimp. I just had it. Just want to show you guys that. Just gonna go ahead and push it down. I get kind of get the little season to it. And then after that, I'm going to pour, pour my water out and then just go ahead and pour it in my pan. Seafood, bro. I bet you, bro. I bet you guys it's about time if I could show it. <laughs> but really, when I show you guys all the season, the first video of all my ingredients, I just wasn't really ready for it yet. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just wasn't really ready for it. All right, so. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in my pan, you guys. And, uh, ooh, one thing about I need a big, I got a bigger pot for my, when I'm cooking stuff like this. Yeah, I'll be right back. Y'all see that crab leg? Okay, so you guys, I'm going to put my eggs for get some of that season in it. Let's put my eggs. Kinda let it soak a little bit in there, if you know what I mean. So you know, get some of that season. See, all right. After that, about a minute, then I pour it in my pan. Oh, look at that! It's good. Okay, some of the pole my seafood boy. That's it, you guys. See it? Okay, but my seafood is better now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make my sauce. My seafood sauce, but this is it. Wow. Look good, you guys, don't it? The sauce. Wow. Everything, everything. 
seafood for the god of seeds on the corn. The eggs, shrimp. Wow. There you guys have it. So I did my seafood up family. Okay, you guys, uh, what's in this bowl right here? It's all my seasoning that I'm going to make uh, my seafood sauce, okay? So, that's the kind of butter I'm using. And I already cut up all my onions that I'm going to use. And garlic, chicken broth. Just a little bit of this gin and not too much. But I'm not going to give you guys, you know, even though I'm giving you guys the season of my seafood sauce. But, um, anyway. Um, this is what I have. So, you guys, you want to uh, make it, you can pause the video. Okay? And this is the last step. I know my daughter, she watched sometimes, but yeah, she probably can't wait to see everything. And if you don't, you don't really have to use this, you guys. You could use regular salt, but I just use that so, to give you guys a little tip. And also, you don't have to use this. You could always use the regular grind uh, junior, okay? All right. So that is my last part. All right. Then I got my yeah. seafood bar in the pan, covered up so I can stay hot. Okay. All righty. Start it. Okay, you guys. So now I'm just to melt my butter for my sauce, and this is the one I'm using. I'm gonna try this out. And like you say, I like my sauce a little chunky. Can you just I might have to change my pot, you guys. A lot of onions and stuff. I'm just going to 
as that ju uh, ju susu juice. Just a little bit, not too much. I hope I will record and I hope I show you guys when I add my ginger. I add a teaspoon and a half. I hope I show that. Now I'm going to put my season, my all my dry season. See how that coming up. Okay, I'm at two cups of chicken broth. Bring it to a ball. Oops. You can tell I'm tired. See that? Give me a little squeeze. I'm going to use lemon juice, you guys. Might not have to use the half and half because it got so much vegetable stuff in it. I'm just gonna use I like this flavor you guys and it's seafood so I'm gonna use my hair. I like that. I like that. And then just let it simmer for 20 minutes and if it need to be thicker then you guys could put half and half you know and that box see how that is I, I don't think I'm not I might do it cuz tomorrow cuz I'm a little tired I just want to put all my ingredient on how you make my um, seafood sauce okay it's a lot of work you guys I guarantee This is how my sauce look. I like a lot of onions in mine, you know. Look. Go ahead and put a little half and half. A little runny. I just want to, oops, show you guys. Right, look. Sticking a little bit. Hope I didn't put too much. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cause it's 
Well, you put a little cold room temperature, it always cut down the heat. But yeah. So, put my top back on, and my sauce is ready. Pretty much. You know, just have to come back to a bar. All right, you guys. I'll see you when I eat my seafood bar.